Hi everyone, this is Tyler from Map to Touch Audio. Today I kind of want to go ahead and show you guys how I use contact in my daily workflow. I love doing things like rocks or waves or robotic feet or bullet buys or anything. I, ge I generally go ahead and create custom contact instruments for these in order to go ahead and play them in rather than cut each individual sample. So I have a ton of rock feet here. There's 36 samples here, which is fantastic. What we can do is open up contact in the standalone editor. We're gonna go ahead and double click to create a new default instrument. And from here, we have access to everything behind the scenes. So once we're behind the scenes of contact, we can come into the mapping editor. Here's where we can go ahead and assign all of the samples. But what we can do is drag in all of the rock samples. So let's just go ahead and select everything here. So as we're importing, we can actually go ahead and determine how many keys one sample takes up. If we drag up, one sample will take up more and more keys. If we drag down, one sample will take up less and less keys. If we actually drag down past the keyboard, it will actually stack on top of each other. And that's kind of what we want. Let's go ahead and let go and it's going to import all these samples onto one key. We then have a few other options that we can do. Since this here is footsteps, I generally want to go ahead and map these here to two specific keys. I want to map them to C2 and D2. Reason being is I can actually walk them in with my fingers and actually pretend like my fingers are feet. What we're going to do is we're going to come up here where it says key ranges C2 to C2. We're actually going to change the second one to D2. So what we've gone ahead and done is organized all of these samples by velocity. However, these samples don't really have velocity in them. So what effectively happens is if I press the key soft, it's going to select a sample from the lower velocities. If I play hard, it's going to select a sample from the higher velocities. Our next step is actually to go ahead and make all of these samples trigger at all velocities. So we're going to change the velocity down to one, and then we're going to change this here to 127. Now what this is going to do is if I press one key, it's actually going to play 36 samples all at once. We don't want that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna highlight all these samples, we're gonna right click, and then we're gonna go move each zone to its own group. This is really, really important because what's gonna happen is it's actually gonna go ahead and take all those samples, and if you come up here to your group editor, it's gonna assign each sample to its own group. Now this is important, but it's not functioning yet. So we're gonna go ahead and click edit all groups to so make sure that all your groups are highlighted. We're gonna come down to group start and we're gonna change this here to cycle round robin. And what I actually like to do is say group start. I actually like to go down here to cycle random. What this is gonna do is now it's gonna go ahead and pick the samples at random. So when we play, we actually get random samples all the time. This is so helpful for cutting samples very, very quickly in both film and video game. If you want to create a walking sequence, you can do that. The other reason why this is super, super handy is if we actually come over here and we open up my browser, I actually have um, the Edward Foley Suite Collection. The beauty about doing it this way is you can actually do this for anything. Cloth movements, backpacks, anything. So if I want to go ahead and create a military styled equipment, I can actually go ahead and cut in the exact same thing. So let's go do a handgun some military uh, vests, so the army vest, we're gonna mix these in halfway. Now when I walk, we can actually have to change this input to one so that we're both triggering both of them. We can also make things heavier by adjusting the tune. Adjust the mix. How about we go ahead and have him carry a rifle instead? What about grocery bags? Have him wearing a windbreaker. So you can actually go ahead and create any amount of custom contact instruments you would like and perform your samples in rather than going ahead and tediously cutting everything in. Thank you so much for watching. Go make some noise.